I had some trouble falling asleep last night. Couldn't stop thinking about how to move everything in microgravity and I kept coming up with idea after idea and it seemed like every idea I came up with I sit here and think about it and always find something that would make it not work. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I am a grouch anyway without coffee. Let's get to stay started. So I think a good goal for today is going to be coming up with a way to move it. Either that's finding a way to make the, the vacuum or the pressured air work and to move it through some type of screw or compactor type of device. Yeah, so that's goal for today. And I think once we have that decision made, it'll be way easier to actually start the design work. get started so let me discuss a little bit about uh, how I go about making a decision when it comes to as far as design work and you can take this in apply it to um, mainly anything but the main thing to note is that a decision you make now can either affect you in a positive way or a negative way in the future and the thing you want to do is Let's say, for instance, I had a design for uh, a corkscrew compactor to use within this toilet. Now, yes, theoretically, thinking about it, it would work. But if I don't think about every way it could fail, instead of thinking about every way it would work, then I would never know how it's going to affect me or the design in the future. The main thing I try and do is point out every way it could fail. If I could find every way that something's gonna fail, then I can avoid that by making changes now. So I'm not particularly having an issue finding a way to move it. It's a problem of getting it into the auger or near the flat. And the only way I can think of is with some type of air movement. For air movement I can put fans up on top to blow it down if we don't have a vent out the other side it'll be like man honestly we just, just like blowing into a cup of glitter so everything in that container is going to come out so we need something where we want it to stick the air has to pass through that all right so after much thinking, and I know I said that I was going to have three concepts for you, I have one. Now, that doesn't mean I didn't have more than one. I had more than three, and I, I narrowed it down to three, and on a lot of them, I just kept coming up with ways that it wouldn't work. So I, I didn't feel that it would be uh, in my best interest of time to continue with those. Considering that the timeline is kind of strict. So I came up with one idea and I want to share that idea with you and kind of the process I went through on how I made that decision. And I know that sometimes decisions can be hard to make, uh, especially in designing because you're you're given a list of requirements that you need to fulfill and obviously there are unlimited ways that you can achieve all of those requirements but the challenge is is actually being able to meet all of them with one design and that's where I was stuck under a rock I, I couldn't think of a one design that could meet every requirement that NASA was looking for. The biggest one was microgravity. And I couldn't think of a way to get something to function in microgravity the way that I wanted to. Uh, especially with given the restriction of only being able to use 70 watts of power. And to give you an idea, so I, th I think a, 
a vacuum cleaner is like 1600 watts and yeah like and using a motor out of something like that this kind of won't work so I wanted to think outside the box and come up with a way that I didn't have to separate everything as they do now so currently on the space station so they have the liquids go through their own tube and their own fan and then they separate those with a centrifugal fan and that's where I ran into the roadblock so the fans actually run almost I think it was like 5,000 watts and there's no way possible I could ever integrate that type of system into what they're looking for. So I wanted to think of something smaller, something easy, something uh, that doesn't have a lot of moving parts, something contained to itself. So I wanted one unit to do everything and I didn't want to have to plumb it into anything else. So you could literally just pick it up, put it where you want it, and use it. I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. It's it's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, worked all day. Worked on this design concept. I didn't get three, but I did get one that seems really promising. Uh, I think it's gonna meet most, if not all, the requirements that NASA has set. So yeah, I think we're making some pretty good progress. So in the next video, I'm gonna be going over that concept and show you the design and how it's gonna function. And yeah feeling good about it. If you don't want to miss out on that next video and seeing that design, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified. And give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. It really helps, honestly. But I'm going to bed. So I'll see you next time.